Now let's look at the second scenario of our implementation shortfall. So now we have again uh, on Jean and same thing, uh, she's looking at XYZ shares on Monday that close at 28.50 but then on Tuesday afternoon uh, she directs her dealer to buy 10,000 shares of XYZ with a decision price of 29.60 but this time Scott managed to purchase the 4,000 shares at let's say at 29.68 uh, on Tuesday itself then the trading fees is uh, 2 cents per share and the closing price on Tuesday is 30 euro and the next day he didn't manage to buy anything and he cancels the remaining 6,000 shares at, and the price closed at 31.20 so in this case if you are calculating the implementation shortfall on a total basis okay so in this case your paper gain okay would be uh, the 10,000 shares that you want to buy okay and the closing price is 31.20 and let's say you your decision price is 29.60 so in this scenario your paper steals 16,000 euros okay and your actual gain here will be the number of shares that you purchase which is uh, 4,000 shares multiplied by the ending price which is th at 31.20 minus the purchase price which is 29.68 and then we minus the uh, the commissions which is uh, 4,000 shares times 2 cents so in this case we get an actual gain of 6,000 euros okay so in this case our implementation shortfall will be 16,000 minus uh, 6,000 so that will in euro terms that will be equals to 10,000 euros and if you calculate if you com uh, convert this into basis points so we'll take uh, the initial paper value so the initial paper portfolio value is equals to 10,000 shares multiplied by the decision price which is 29.60 okay so that will be as before which is 296,000 so your implementation shortfall in basis points here will be 10,000 euros over 296,000 euros So we divide that and we convert to basis points. So that's about 337.84 basis points. Now, next, let's calculate the individual components. And again, I'll draw out the timeline to have a better clarity of the events. So again, on Monday, the price closed at 28.50. Then the next day on Tuesday, uh, Jin put in the order. So you put in the buy order for 10,000 shares at the decision price of 29.60 okay and this time Scott managed to buy okay he managed to buy 4,000 shares at 29.68 okay and the price closed at 30 and the next day Scott did not manage to buy anything and then he cancels the order okay you cancel at 30 one twenty. Now in this case when you're calculating the commission and fee so the commission here again would be 4,000 shares times uh, 2 cents each so that's 80 euros so your commission in basis points here will be 80 euros okay which is uh, just to recap that's uh, 4,000 multiply by 2 cents each then we divide by the initial value which is 296,000 that's the initial paper value so in basis points, okay, that would be 2.7 basis points. Okay, we did this before. And then second part is on the realized loss. Now, you put in the order at 29.60, but you only managed to buy at 29.68. So there's a realized loss of 8 cents per share there. So if you take the number of shares you purchased, 4,000 times 29.68, minus 29.60 okay so in this case your realized loss will be 320 euros okay so if we convert the basis points as 320 over 296,000 so in basis points that has uh, so in basis points that would be 10.81 basis points now take note that when you bought if you buy the shares on the same day that you put in the order then the decision price that we compare against is the original decision price 
Okay, but if you compare to the previous case in scenario one, when we purchased the shares on Wednesday, our decision price is based on the previous day's closing, which is 30. Because at that point, there was a delay from 29.60 to 30. So that's why your realized loss is from 30 to 30.14. 30 but for this scenario, there was no delay cost. So there'll just be a realized loss from 29.60 to 29.68. So in this case, uh, when we are asked to calculate the delay cost, there is no delay here in purchasing. So this is just zero basis points because we managed to buy the same day that we put in the order for these 4,000 shares. Okay, and if you are calculating the missed trade, the missed trade opportunity cost. Okay, so that will be the remaining 6,000 shares that you did not buy. Okay, and then uh, the closing price is cancellation price 3120 minus the original decision price. So that's how much you miss out in total. Okay, or for those 6,000 shares. So that will be equals to 9,600 euros. Okay, so in basis points, uh, 9,600 divided by 296,000. So that will be equals to... 324.32 basis points right so we are done so finally your implementation shortfall will be the sum of all these costs so there will be 2.7 plus 10.81 plus 0 plus 324.32 so that will be equals to 337.83 basis points okay so it's very close to the one that we got earlier which is 337.84 basis points so uh, in the next video in the last uh, scenario we'll look at what happens if we did buy shares on both Tuesdays and Wednesdays then how should we handle the implementation shortfall calculation